Now, let us quickly understand when there are changes in exchange rate, when there is a depreciation or when there is an appreciation. See, when a currency depreciation happens, that means your exchange rate will rise. So, there would be more demand of foreign exchange, let's say dollar to rupee. So, there is more demand of dollars, okay, but then the supply of dollars remains the same. So, what happens in that scenario? Because the market forces come into play, so my rupee will depreciate. Okay, so there would be a rise in exchange rate implying depreciation in domestic currency or as we call it popularly currency depreciation. So what happens in this scenario? Suppose $1 was commanding 60 rupees. Now it went command 65 rupees. Okay, so what are the effects? The exports become cheaper. So exports are encouraged by this kind of depreciation. Imports become dearer. Why? Because now you have to pay more dollars right so that would result in discourage of imports because imports are now costlier if i have to see this diagrammatically how would i see see q and q1 is the quantity out here now there has been more demand in the ust so you can see there is a rightward shift on the x-axis now here supply remains constant so there is no another line which you can see but the demand has increased from d to d1 that is from DD to DD, uh, D1, D1 or D dash, D dash, okay. So here that is the reason we are showing this arrow. Similarly for quantity also, I am showing you this arrow, it is increases on the right hand side. So now my equilibrium which was e, e star earlier goes up to E1, okay. So that is the new equilibrium which we have. So that is what the rises from 60 to 65. Now see. When there is a currency appreciation, what means uh, exchange rate will start falling in that scenario. Now, what does that mean? The demand for foreign exchange would decrease, but the supply would remain. So, people would be demanding lesser of US dollars, but then the supply of US dollar would remain same. So, the currency which was now trading at a rate of 1 dollar is equal to 65 rupees will come down to 60 rupees. So that would result in exports becoming costlier so they will be fall and imports becoming cheaper so they will rise. Diagrammatically see what would happen here from E star it will come to E dash okay the equilibrium. Why? Because the supply has fallen. So the demand you can see there is only one line DD but then the supply has fallen from S, S2, S1 s1 okay so to bring that equilibrium now the quantity will shift to q1 okay so that is what the currency appreciation is all about